Hey guys, Dean here. So today I'm going to be talking about the Judge.me product reviews app for Shopify. I'm going to show you how to get it installed and how to get it set up from the ground up. So let's jump into it. So you can search this on the Shopify app store by pressing add app and then go into the app store. And this is going to allow us to import product reviews directly from a product listing on AliExpress. So that means if we don't yet have any customers and we don't have any real feedback, we can use feedback that people have already posted on the exact same product on AliExpress to give our customer base some trust with us as a brand so press the install app right here and let's jump into the app screen and i'm going to show you how to set it up what you want to go ahead and do is it says where do you want to install the widgets on so you want to press my current live theme and press next because otherwise it'll install it to a different theme and this is where we can select the widgets we want to install so a widget is kind of like a small integration of the app on your page which is kind of like a basic way of saying it so we can have the review app on our product page which we probably want because we want our customers to see on the product page because when they go from our ad onto our web store they're going to go typically just to the products page and it's a very small chance they're going to go off and click on the other pages like the home page and some of the other pages on the website so we want it on the product page we can also have the preview badge on the products page and on the collections page so i'm going to keep all these ticked and it says allow judge.me to update my theme files to install widgets so to keep that ticked if you want the widgets and press install widgets right now and this will install the judge.me widgets and set up the app so now we'll wait for the loading process and then we'll jump onto the preview section where we can preview what they're going to look like but you can see we have the customer reviews over here and this is a preview of what it will look like so below my product it will have the customer reviews kind of like an average of the number of stars that we have and the names the location the subheading or the heading and then the actual body of the review and this is how it will appear below our product on the product page then on the collection page where our products are you can see below them we have the reviews over here which display under the product's title so press yep looks great and then we can jump on to the control panel so over here we can then customize the widget so this is where we can customize what the widget actually looks like so what do the reviews look like when displayed on our website so this is where we can actually manage that and set everything up so if you press customize widget over here this takes us onto the widget customizer so from here we can change the widget title so i'm going to just change to reviews then we have the labels over here now some of them you can't edit settings on the basic plan so you won't be able to change these if you're on the basic entry level plan we can add a search bar onto our widget if you have a different plan as well now this is going to be something that a lot of people want to change as well which is the custom colors most of these customization options are only available if you upgrade your plan which may be worth it if you're starting to get a lot of sales because you might have a certain color theme or house style on your website and you might want the reviews to kind of stick in line with those colors so it doesn't really look too strange in comparison to your actual website look you can also do a few different things like add judge.me product medals to your widget, for an example. So it says reviewed by judge.me or verified by judge.me. Now, I don't know if judge.me is such a huge brand that customers would actually know who they are or care. So I'm not going to enable that. You can add star colors. So this would be the star, the color of the stars for the rating. So we can change that. If I want pink stars, for an example, which is actually the color scheme of my website, then we can add secondary colors to our widgets too. We can do the primary color of the widget, which is going to be this kind of purple. We can also change that i'm going to change it to more of kind of like a pinky purple and then we can go to the widget body so from here we can change the date format so before it showed the date of the reviews on the widget so what format is it going to have for an example is it going to use the european format of days months and years which the uk use or is it going to use the american format of months days and years for an example i'm going to change to european because i'm originally from the uk and i'm from europe so i'm going to select that we can also click allow reviewers to upload photos so this would be if people manually upload reviews when they've actually bought your product to the customer so this is not when you're actually importing reviews from other areas of the internet like aliexpress this is from when they've actually bought your products and then they can upload photos and you want this ticked because it allows the customers to see real photos from consumers which also further allows them to kind of imagine themselves with a the product which is great for actually converting customers who are looking at reviews first before they purchase right so that's always a good one i'd also tick allow viewers to upload videos which i think is also great because you can use Use the customer videos in your ads and actually have free content because the customers just post original content for you so that might be an option
section. Then we can change the look and feel of it. So anything that says awesome, we have to upgrade our plan for. So if you want to change the look and feel, the border style and certain things on your plugin, you will have to upgrade to do that, okay? Then on the widget form, this is basically the rating field. So this would be preset to five. So this is like how many stars your reviews are out of. So the default would be five, for an example. Then you can also add custom forms as well for questions. So you can see you are getting a lot of extra features to customize when you have a higher pro plan. And this is just kind of like a preview of what it's going to look like based on our preferences and what we've changed thus far. You can also have widget themes. So for an example, if you press the icon here, it will show you a preview of the theme. So this is the default theme, for an example, and you can click on it for a bigger picture. This is what the default theme looks like. And all of these images are of the different widgets and the different placements on your website of the reviews app. That's the default theme. You can also click on the cards theme over here and also the slider theme. I'd recommend just leave it on default, but some themes look quite good. And curation is if we want to publish new reviews automatically before moderating them. So this would be if you don't really care if people leave you lower stars, but if you really want to upkeep the high number of stars and keep like good reviews and spam reviews out of the circulation of your website, you can untick this so that you have to moderate them. You can also put the minimum rating here as well. So I could select one star or two stars or three stars. So this would mean that anything that's three stars and above will be published. Anything that's below three stars will not be published to your store automatically. This keeps very negative and low reviews out of circulation. You might want to keep that off just to keep things more credible, but that's your choice. You can also have web review restrictions. So this only allows customers who've received a review request and API users to leave a review. Okay. There's also a spam filter, so you can filter out spam reviews. But yet again, these are features of a higher plan. Then on installation, this is how we actually implement it. So this is going to be the most important part. So to install the review widget using the theme editor, we want to open the product template in the editor, press go to the left panel, add section, add block, and choose the review widget and press drag and drop into the preview. So I'm going to show you how to do this because this may be confusing for you if you've never used a Shopify app before, if you're new to setting up a store, and if you don't really understand how this works. So to do this, you'd go to the left and you go onto your online store. Then you want to press custom on your theme down here and you want to select products here and press default products. This is your default template for products. And you'll see we already have reviews on here already. Now, the reason I have two review sets is because I already have a reviews plugin, which is not actually judge.me apparently, which is why they look different. Okay. Now you can see these fancy image reviews down here is actually my main review app. And the reason for this is because I like those image reviews better. And I'm going to do a separate tutorial on how to set that up very soon if you want to have that app. But for this one, this is our reviews app over here. So if I click this section, you can see if I move my camera for a minute, it says review widget judge.me product reviews. And then from here, you can customize settings, which will take us to where we just were and also manage the app if you want to remove it, for an example. Now on the left hand side, which is the Shopify theme editor or the blocks editor, we have a few different things. So you can see under apps review widget, this is the reviews widget. So we could click this and move it to move it to a different part of the website. So if we want to move it to a different section, we can also move this. You can also press add block and then you can go and find elements from the reviews widget. So I could press review widget here and then it will add a block over here for the review widget and it will display on the sidebar of this product page instead. I could also press add block reviews text or sections for medals, for an example, and it will also add that as well. And that's how we can set up the judge.me product reviews app on Shopify. It's a very simple process, very simple to set up. I hope this tutorial video is very useful to you guys. And if it was, press a like on this video to so that I know that helps you guys out. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm posting very useful Shopify tutorials and business videos on this channel to help you get started with your Shopify store. And if you're doing drop shipping, specifically drop shipping content to help you guys reach success. These are entirely free videos. You can check out my free drop shipping course down below in the description. No cost at all for that. Just if you guys want to get started, free resources. And if you have any questions about this app, or the tutorial as a whole and you kind of struggled on the whole setup, leave me a comment below. I'm happy to help you guys and get back to you as soon as possible with any of your questions. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.